Welcome back to a, another tutorial where I'm going to show you guys how to take my client who has very naturally dark root area, so about a level four or five, and then these grown out blonde ends into this gorgeous, soft, base broken blonde. So we have a whole bunch of dimension in here and beautiful color melt with just, I mean, absolute gorgeousness in this end result. So we're going to be going in and doing color gels. This is Red King color gels. I'm using some heavy hitters like the NA series and some ends. We're actually going to be doing a break, a base break. So I'm applying this all over her root area to zone one and I'm taking it out about three to four inches depending on where she has the most root. So in the back you guys see she has so much root. So I applied this to the zone one into zone two area and then I'm going to go in and do some highlights and low light sections. So I'm actually going to be using a diagonal back zigzag and I'm using the end of my comb to do this and for the low light sections I'm actually taking out chunks so I'm taking out weaved chunks and then I'm applying this low light formula which will be down in the description box below so you can check it out and see exactly what I used in her three different formulas and then I'm using my Olivia garden brush to really comb this through because what happens whenever you're going and taking a blonde darker is sometimes we just don't get that saturation properly and then guess what happens it gets spotty it can get patchy and you go to blow it out and you're starting to have a heart attack so make sure that you're really saturating and using a brush like the Olivia garden I think it's called like blend brush or blur brush I don't know I just call it my Olivia garden brush then when we're going into a highlight section I'm going to do a zigzag slice section so this is going to come all the way across in a highlight section and then we're going to apply from you guys can see here's the root color so we're going to start the highlight section where that root color kind of ends and we're going to marry those two colors together and then bring this down all the way through the ends this is a level nine so this is going to just tone her hair so it's not as white blonde and just give it some softness i absolutely loved the highlight formula that we used so as you can see i'm keeping my low lights on the right and my highlights on the left that way as i move into my sections i know exactly where what I'm doing. This is going to be a low light section. So I'm leaving out three nice chunks. The thing and the key to dimension is really creating space between your chunks. So that way, whenever it lies, you're going to be able to see those highlights pop through that. So I'm going to apply my low light section again, using even saturation, going all the way through that section. I wish you guys could see me right now because I talk and do these voiceovers with my hands. It's so funny. Like you can see me <laughs> and I'm using that Olivia garden brush. I have two different ones one for my low light which is going to go on the right and then I have one for my highlight which is going to go on the left wipe your hands in between working with different color formulas so that way you're not going to have to worry about contaminating and creating weird little patches on the hair again I'm going to do another highlight and I'm going to create a zigzag slice a large slice on her hair and I'm going to apply this highlight formula so I did two sections in the back two quadrants in the back and I went in with a diagonal back section. And then I do the same thing for the front. I use the same technique in the front. And what I do in the front is I just make sure to create a nice large money piece framing around her face that is going to be bright. So you can see highlights on the outside and low lights in the inside. So I know exactly what I'm doing. You guys can see it's all nice and processed. We're gonna let that sit for about 20 minutes and then rinse with nice cold water. And she decided that she wanted to do a really nice, healthy haircut. You guys, it makes it look like she has extensions at the end because of how thick her hair looks with getting a trim. If you're trying to grow your hair out, if you're trying to keep your hair healthy, please make sure that you are giving your clients trims. And if you're a client, get a trim, my friend. This is what helps. And then I'm gonna go in and use a one inch curling iron by T3. I am obsessed. You guys see this in every single one of my hair tutorials because this guy is my favorite and you can really see the dimensions start to go through this hair. So I'm going to go in both directions to give her some fun, sexy, messy texture. So one is going to go away from her face and then the following is going to go towards her face. And I do this all around the hair except the front hairline. I take away from the face to give her this really fun, sexy texture. And then what I do after this is I spray it with a little hair spray and then I hit it with a dry texturizing spray and this gives it so much oomph and that va va voom to the hair. I am absolutely obsessed. We're going to comb this baby out and this is really going to make all that dimension pop. 
I got to tell you guys, I don't normally do base bumps. And I was explaining this to her that I don't normally do base bumps, but I, you know, I said, okay, this could turn a little bit warm and it did turn a little bit warm, which I already had an idea that it was going to, even though we added in some NAs, but you know what? It turned out absolutely gorgeous and it did lift her base some and just create some softness. And we are so 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 ecstatic with these results i mean can you even her hair is just absolutely gorgeous and then i get to paint it we added back all of this dimension some really nice depth at her hair and blended that harsh base that she has naturally down into the rest of the hair and do you guys see just how soft and seamless this is it's absolutely stunning do not forget to follow and connect with me on Instagram and check out some of the other videos that I have you guys. I'm uploading every single week. I hope that you guys have an amazing day.